Hey guys, making a video here. Uh, I've been making some knives. I'm new to making knives. I've only made a handful, but I like knives and I've uh, been trying my hand at different styles and stuff. So, decided I want to make a folding knife, and the easiest kind of knife to make is uh, friction folders, as far as I know. So, these are my first attempts at making some friction folders. Just thought I'd make a little quick video. Um, anyone who knows a lot about knives may recognize this design here. It is not my design. Uh, it was, uh, basically, I copied a guy, his name, I believe he goes by Tough Thumbs, and he calls this the, uh, War Toad. Anyway, I always thought they looked kind of funny, kind of neat, and, uh, I decided for my first attempt at making one of these, I would just try his design and, uh, you know, kind of learn, learn how it works along the way. So actually this was my very first, this one right here, this green one, kind of a stubby little thing. This is actually my first folding knife, my very first attempt. So if anyone doesn't know what a friction folder is, I imagine you do if you're watching this video, but in case you don't. A uh, friction folder means that there's no lock, there's no actual real lock that holds the blade shut or holds it open. Uh, it's literally held in place basically by the friction of tightening these screws down and it kind of pinches on there. So that holds it shut and it's pretty firm, you know, it doesn't pop open or anything like that. But a uh, little flipper coming off the back here, that's so you can... Uh, Kind of flip it open like that, and when you push it shut, really uh, your hand kind of holds it in place. As you can see, I kind of purposely make it so the spine sticks up a little proud, and that is kind of to help with uh, holding it shut there, holding it in place while you're using it. So basically it's not going to fold on your hand as long as you're holding it like that. Also I did, I added a... Uh, I don't know if the guy that originally kind of thought these up, or this design up, I don't know if he does it, but I decided to try my best to like make a little notch there, and I make a little notch in there, so that it kind of clicks into place. I don't know if you can hear this, but my design, it kind of clicks and snaps in there. The little thing snaps in there and holds it in a little bit more. Anyway, uh, I do give credit to that guy, Tough Thumbs, yeah, he inspired me to, to do these, and uh, this is his basic design, I just kind of put my own twist on it in different ways. And that's one thing about this, the design of these knives, is that you can do a lot of different things with them. Little differences like this, you know, I rounded the spine on that, but everything else is kind of smooth and normal, textured the handle, and then whereas, uh, Take something like this. Oh yeah, this is smooth here. So like uh, the spacer is smooth on that. I put a little strip of color there. Whereas this one, if it'll focus. Ah. I did a little bit different, like texturing the spine of the knife, the little swedge. A little texture here and there, and then uh, textured the spacer. My goal here, I was going to make that, try to make that line up perfectly so that it perfectly transitioned from the spine of the knife to the spacer and the handle, and I came close, but I didn't quite get it. I might actually redo that because I think I can get it perfect next time if I try it. Anyway, these are really. I had fun making these because there is a lot of just little details and stuff you can add to them to make them unique. This one here. Let's see. This one was layered uh, G10. I don't know if you can see. It's actually layered blue and black, and I left the outer layer black, which makes the blue show. Little pop of orange. 
Oh, and another thing that I've seen, you know, you can make the spacer have it stick out and give a little bit of texture to it. Also my first time putting, you know, clips on a knife because I've only done fixed blades before, before these. It was definitely a learning process, but I think they came out all right. And even like this little choil transition area, you know, area, you can do different things. Like this one, I went really straight on one and curved on another. But yeah, I definitely learned a lot by doing these, I think. And I made a mini one. I think these are pretty close, to probably about the same size or similar to the size that uh, the original guy was making. And uh, I decided I wanted a smaller one, just because I kind of thought that would be cool. So I uh, basically shrunk the design down, altered this area a little bit for your fingers, made a little mini version. So it's like a mini war toad, I guess. This one. It's very sharp too. And I basically went with a stone wash, dark stone wash finish on all these. And I'm just learning how to do stone wash too. So right now I'm taking a to get the stone wash finish. Basically I etch it and then I blew it and then I throw it in a cylinder with some rocks I grabbed out of my garden. And I wrap, I tape it up, wrap it up in a blanket, throw it in my dryer, and that thing just kind of bashes around in there, and I let it go for a while, and it comes out looking like that, like a stone wash. So, anyway, I copied these designs, and then uh, kind of took what I learned and played around and made my own design. So this is my own design here. It's more slender, sleeker, longer. I know it sounds kind of funny saying that. So I took kind of, you know, some cues from that other one and just kind of made it my own. I don't think it turned out too bad. Uh, I want to make it. When I get a chance, I'm going to make some more of these, and I think I'm going to refine and perfect this design. I can make some improvements to it. I already have some ideas. But I don't think it turned out too bad. I know I'm moving it around a lot. I like the way uh, my transition from the handle of the blade turned out there. I think it feels nice and the kind of gentle curve of the whole thing. I think it feels good in the hand. Kind of puts the edge of the blade kind of slanting slightly forward, which is good in my opinion. This one I almost didn't make. I just took a piece of, you know, I had a piece of scrap metal and I just like, oh, it makes sense. it's too small to make a fixed blade, so I'll just make another folder with it. This is what I came up with. And if you notice, there are three screws here where normally there's two. That is because I messed up and I misjudged. I kind of ground in here too far. And so when you tried to close the knife, it went too far in. So basically, I have two stop pin screws there. That one stops it when it's closed, and the other one stops it when it's open. Ideally, you should only have only need one screw there, but you know I'm learning. Mistakes are made, but it still works. This one kind of has almost a, like a straight razor look to it, almost, but not quite. Ground some texture in there just because I don't know. I'm screwing around, trying out different stuff. Anyway,
it's far from perfect, but hey, it works. This one's actually got a little weight to it. Actually feels kind of solid. In my hand, at least. So, I don't want to make this video super long, but anyway, I'd, uh, I've been back trying to get back to making some knives. Also decided, hey, why not make some YouTube videos about it? Probably nobody will watch them or care, but that's all right. I still enjoy it. So thank you to Tough Thumbs. I think his real name is Jeff or Geoff or something like that. I liked your design, so I'm using it. By the way, if anyone's wondering, I'm not selling these, so I'm not trying to make money off of his design. Just to be clear, I made these for myself. I'm keeping them. I'm not trying to make money off his design. And going forward, the knives that I make, going forward, I will be perfecting my own designs. Just to be clear. Anyway, that's about all I got for now. Uh, probably make some more knife videos. I got some more knives that I made that that I might just make short videos about. Oh, and there's my foot because my camera's swinging around. Anyway, talk to you guys later.